Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today I get to unbox the So Happy Card Kit of the Month from September 2022. And just by the title, I'm I'm thrilled because I love stitching on cards and with cards. And with the spelling of so, I have a feeling that there's going to be some like sewing elements to the kit. So I can't wait to open it. I have to start. So um, I'm going to take it out of the box and out of the tissue paper as usual. And um, it's usually quite noisy on the microphone. So I will um, just remove that off camera and we'll dive right in. I do want to mention these boxes are perfect for um, using as little trays. So if you're interested in you know, making little trays for yourself, all you have to do is cut off the lid and you get a nice tray. So I will probably be doing that with my card kits from now on. I just did that with the Santa Lane card kit box and you can see here it's a little bit deeper than a typical one but it makes a really nice tray and you can stack them and it's better than them just going in the garbage or even in the recycling bin because you're giving it even some more life before it gets recycled all right plus you already have the box because you got the kit anyway oh oh my goodness okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is the So Happy card kit. I am thrilled because I, I love chipboard frames and those are so adorable. All right, we have 10 cards and 10 um, envelopes. Perfect. I always need these because we're making cards, people. All right, nine pieces of cardstock as usual. Perfect. Let's check out the colors. Ooh. Okay, so we have a purple, a bright green, navy blue, light blue. If I can get it off, pink, bright yellow, gray, white, and ooh, silver mirrored. I love mirrored cardstock. If you didn't know, they do have red and green mirrored cardstock as well. So I hope that they make all the colors. That would be so fun. All right, set of nine dies. Let's open that up. Oh, it looks like a hoop, a sewing hoop, embroidery hoop, sewing hoop. I don't know which one they're called, but you can sew or embroidery, I suppose. Okay, let's check out the circle. Okay, so you get a circle, two circle dies. I'm assuming that would make the outside of this hoop. Then this set or this little piece would make the needle and the kind of the closure of the hoop. Then we have some kind of natural elements to make the flowers. And of course, you can't sew without thread. We have the thread. I love how wiggly that is. It just looks like it's alive. The nice thing about dies, and I'm assuming there's a stamp, yes, stamp set, with the card kits, even if you use all the paper, all the stickers, all the chipboard frames, whatever it might be, at the end, you're still left with a die set and a stamp set that you can reuse over and over and over. There's no limit to how many flowers you can cut or stamps you can make. So that alone is worth the amount of the card kit. Okay, we have the dies. The paper pad is next. All right, as usual, they are single sided. They are six by six papers and there are 40 sheets. Wow. So that means there are two pages for each design. Oh, I love how pretty the papers are already. Ooh, sewing machines. Oh. Okay, if you've known, you know me, I like, you know that I like the gold foiling on paper. You can kind of see that there's some foiling on that one. Very pretty. Ooh, I like that. That's very delicate. Oh, and gold foiling on this one too. Oh, it looks kind of like a sewing or like a quilting thing, quilting mat. 
beautiful. All right, I cannot wait to make cards now. And every time, I think the paper pad is really what kind of jumps my excitement because it's one of the first things that I tear into, so to speak, when I go to make cards is I get the paper all laid out. So every time I look through the paper for the first time, my ideas just start coming. Anyway, paper pad, chipboard elements. Let's go to the next section. Oh, for cute. Very sweet. I think I will use all of them cute as a button. That's sweet. Very nice. I don't know why, but I really like this little quail like bird with the needle that just looks very sweet. Okay. Chipboard element stamp set. Whoa, full of sentiments. Okay, these are so perfect for stitched cards. Okay, don't you think that this would be so fun to put one of these stitched frame, like a, a stitched card and have a stitched sentiment on them? I'm so happy it's your birthday and put it on this. I cannot wait. I will be using this more than just the kit. I already know that. Wow. Sticker pack. They haven't had stickers like this in a card kit for a couple months. And I really like that when they put them in there because they're perfect for sealing the envelope with a card or putting it on the outside of a card and having it kind of coordinate with the card front. Or you could put it on the inside of a card. Oh, they're okay. They're not all the same. That's even more amazing. Okay, so we have... I'll just say like these are kind of like circled images. These are some sentiment stickers. These are shaped sentiment as how I would describe them, shaped sentiments, because they're not just, like this is a sentiment sticker, right? But it's not just a little, little banner. It's more of a um, statement. And now with these, I will just say what you can do if you don't just want a sticker, well, they are pretty thick. Well, if you find that they're too thin for you for putting on a card and adding dimension behind it, you could certainly put this sticker on to some white paper. Let's just grab a scrap like this and kind of leave a border and then use your paper cutter, trim it, and now it's a little bit of a thicker piece. It's almost like a die cut shape at that point. And you could do that with the circles as well. Then when you want to add like foam tape or something behind it, it has a little more um, body to hold the sticker. Just tips, I guess. And oh, this lady is <laughs> knitting with her legs crossed. That's kind of fun very sweet i love the sentiments that are like crafty i think this is a very me card kit <laughs> all right let's keep going chipboard frames as i already said i love chipboard frames and typically when they're in a pack i use all of them <laughs> because i i like them i like them a lot and I love using chipboard frames for shaker cards, so I will probably be making a shaker card or two. So <laughs> get ready for that. And I just think that these are adorable. And from what I can remember when I just opened that paper, these coordinate really nicely with the paper. And that's kind of the beauty of a card kit. Everything coordinates. So there you have it. All right. The die cut shapes, I'm just going to wait for a second and then we have foam squares and adhesive. Now these foam squares are perfect for adding dimension. The double sided adhesive is a sticky double sided tape. So perfect for putting your cards together. Alright, here is a look at all of the die cut shapes from the Spellbinders card kit of the month from September. Now what I do is I take it out of the package like this 
and typically for unboxing videos I do kind of like a fast forward of me putting them all out but instead this time I just want to talk about how I laid them out and not really show like me physically doing it. If you like that and you miss it let me know in the comments otherwise I'll just do this from now on. I think it kind of makes the video a little shorter and I don't know if people actually like watching me sort so I'll just tell you how I sorted them so you can kind of see from here down are all of the flowers and greenery from here down then from here on up are all of the craft little bits and bobs is what I would call them so these are all things that would not be kind of like the centerpiece on a card but would be smaller supporting details these over here are craft things is what I'm just gonna call them so that's like knitting needles a basket of yarn a weaving loom sewing machine knit slash crocheted things fabric etc so those are all bigger pieces that I think would be more of like the centerpiece and add like some smaller things to it then I put these four animals together five there's a cat a bunny a bird an owl and a snail then I put these four kind of like human things together so we have two things uh, being made with some hands and then two women knitting then over here I put the sentiments together now you'll notice that there aren't a lot of sentiments um, with, with the die cut shapes because they have a lot of stickers so that's kind of where it supplements which I honestly kind of prefer it this way and the stamp set is full of sentiments as well so I love it I can't wait to go and make cards now so I will leave you here and happy crafting bye